I want to show you how to develop your own circuit. This is my circuit. It's a taser for mobile phone. And I will guide you in this video in five easy steps how to develop. First step is to draw the circuit. The second is to buy the components. Third, to simulate. The fourth step is to design the PCB and the fifth step, last, is to produce this circuit. So, let's begin! I used to begin defining what I need and I need a circuit that changed from 5 to 300 volts. This is a boost converter and I check for a diagram on the internet and I see that this is the circuit that they need I need a coil a diode a capacitor and a switch that run very fast that change its state very fast this is done by a MOSFET whose gate is controlled by a 555 circuit this circuit has this diagram here is now we must take a look on the variables involved in the circuit that are the inductance the maximum current and voltage on the diode the capacitor capacitance and voltage and then here the MOSFET we must take a look on the maximum voltage to drainer, drainer to source voltage maximum current and then in the 555 circuit we want to make it run for example at 4 kilohertz so uh, we will need to take a look on the parameters that control the frequency. Frequency on this circuit it's controlled by the next formula so we can put here 10 nanofarad here in R1 we can choose 1 kilo ohm so we will calculate R2 R2 it's approximately 15 13 kilo ohms now we know all the components that we will use. The MOSFET will be an ERF 540. So we can go to the next step. The second step 
it's to buy the components. The best places to find the components are Farner or DigiKey or Mouser. But the problem with them is that they are designed more to buy a, a big volume of components. Like you plan to spend 100 euro, 200 euro in components, it's a good decision. But if you plan to have a total cost of 20 euro, it's better to look for eBay or AliExpress. The problem with them is that it takes a month or something like this to, to arrive, but you can choose faster shippings. Here I have some of the components like the flash module, the photodiode, a the transformer. This is an EGBT. And as you can see, they are different, they have different pin size. So it's also important to buy adapters and pin headers. Okay, so let's go to the third step. I will show you this program, LT Spice. It's a program for simulation and it's com not completely necessary in your project, but just in case you need it, you can have it. Uh, to insert a component, we press F2 and I want to insert this component. As you see, all pins are described and you can find in the web page of LT Spice some demo circuit that will help you to develop your circuit. Here we have the circuit from LT Spice with the other components and it's also possible to insert model spice of the components as you see for example in the diode we can check a spice model and this makes this program more powerful. The fourth step is to design the PCB. To do this, we, we can use Eagle or KiCad. In this case, I will show you the last KiCad. It has three different parts that are called a schema, PCB new, and then to produce the Gerber files. In the description, you can find a very nice video how to do this. I will show you a bit how to use it uh, we can press find component and there is a very big library. It's also possible to design your own components and when your circuit is done, uh, you can perform an electrical rules checker that will show you some errors that are in your circuit. Then generate the netlist. The next step is PCB new. We use this tool to design the board layout. We must read the netlist. Here we have all components and pressing M. We must put all components in places. As you see, it can take some time. Normally, we would need to connect the components by using this tool and this would take a lot of time but I will show you how to use FreeRoot. It's a tool to do this automatically. To do this we export the design and we use NetBeans. We must download the FreeRoot software from GitHub. All webs are in the information above. We must clone or download, download it and then import. Also, it's necessary to import this jar library and then compile. Now we are ready to import the DSN file. Here we have the layout. It's just necessary to press auto router and it will 
find the best solution for the circuit. When it's ready, we just need to export to CalCAD. Now we must press back import and here we have the circuit. As you see, these nets are wider because 150 amperes of current are going through these nets. You will find in the information all videos related to this that will help you to use this program. When you are ready with the Gerber files, you must take all of them and compress it. Here I have my folder and you should go to some company like Sida Studio. Here we select the folder compressed and upload to the web page. It will find the dimensions and we can choose a lot of properties of the circuit PCB and all it's done. Thank you for your attention and please ask all doubts that you have. Thank you.